Now a sideways as we come up across and hit the top, make sure that you twist your foot up. And you can hit the back also. Now we want to get a center and bring your hands in, palms together going up, breathe in, breathe out, going down. Pushing the center line, equal pressure on one left side and right side. Breathing in, breathing out, going down. Breathing in, breathing out. And breathing in, feeling equal pressure right and left. It can be heavy pressure against each hand or very light. You want to be right. Smack down the center. As they come up, push away, palms down, come behind, palms up, make a T, and now we're going to twist all the way as far back as possible, straight, and twist the other way. Each time, see if you can twist further. Push all, all the way down to the ankles, everything like twisting a rag. Now, as we're in front, we want to come up and touch the back of your hand. As you, this time you come right down the middle, equal pressure right and left on the back of the hand, down as far as you can go. Bring Energy right up the channel, up through the middle, up and down the sides. We'll try it again. We come up and around, touching the back of your hands, feeling that whole hand but the back of it, down to the ground. Grab energy and pull it up through the channel that was created. Feel the energy at the level of where the hands are. So now the energy is coming right down through the center. Feel the backs of your hands. Down into the earth. Grab the earth. Have it exactly what, like where my hands are. Now feel your shoulder blades open up as we bring them up. And come right down the back side. And again, one last time. Very unique feeling on the backs of her hands. And up and stands salad. Like fist closed. Take your right elbow and touch your left knee. If you can't, because of balance, just take your hand and touch your left knee. And the opposite, if you can touch the knee to the elbow, opposites. If there's a problem with balance, just touch it with your hand. We don't want anybody falling. But we're trying to connect the right brain and the left side, and the left brain on the right side. I 
and we're going to balance with the microcosmic orbit of the water path up the back side, comes down the front, matching with the fight in the front, just to the waist, then comes up the back side, comes up through the legs, comes up the back, breathe out as it goes down the front. And breathing in and breathing out. And breathing in and out. One more time, breathing in and breathing out and relax. Now we're going to start getting hot, get the blood pumping with our, not, not the fists together, just our fists closed, separated a little bit. We're going to make a figure eight, come around one side and the other side. They don't have to be, they're not clapped together. And Breathe at your own will. As you get hotter and hotter, you might be breathing actually through your mouth. If you get tired, it's okay. To start out breathing through your nose, but if you need, because of, we'll go a little faster. Definitely. Warming up the heart, getting it pumping. Now we stop and go the other way. Down this way, up. It might take a couple tries to figure out how to do this in reverse. Again, something of tricking the mind, of trying to figure out how. How do we do this backwards? Now just our hands going around in circles on our sides. And we want to have a light fist because we're keeping the energy with the light fist. The energy stays inside. If we had the fingers open, it would be we'd send it away. We don't want to send it away. Stop and go the other way. We are on the side. We get a little, might be getting warm. Okay, that's the goal, hot fire, very good for us. Now, as I put our hands up high, I'm gonna to turn to one side and bring my hands down, twist, bring them up to the side, twist, bring it down, twist again to bring it up. So I'm bringing it down one side and up the other. Without knowing it, I'm actually making a figure eight with the hands by changing which side they're coming up or down. Twist up, twist down, twist up, twist down, twist up, twist down, and stop. Now I'm going to be on this side of up. Twist down on the new side. Twist up, twist down. Every time I'm changing which way my hands are going, I change my body. Again, making the figure eight. What's in the center of all this is the heart. It's, it's hard to keep track. 
but that's also part of the exercise. We're getting a good workout of twisting and sending energy in different circles. And down. Now, just one hand, make a figure eight. Just leave the other hand alone. Make a figure eight. And stop that, and now make the figure eight with the other hand. So the figure eight going on one side or the other of the body. Okay, now do one after the other. Really get a nice twisting and motions, and but the energy is making all these different directions and getting it all twirled up and the heart's middle. Okay, now I want to open my hands open, open the heart, close the heart, open the heart. Close the heart. Maybe breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, expansion, contraction around the heart. Look at that massage of really massaging the heart muscle with that extreme open, extreme close. Chometz and matzah. Chometz, matzah. Open, close. I want to go up and down, and up and down, and up and down, up and down, up and down. Now both hands on one side and throw it to the center, to the side, the other side, and throw it away. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, feel it. Ow. Really feel it, push, taking it and throwing it away. All that arrogance, send it away. Collect it, send it away. We're, we're, we're left with compassion for everyone else. Now, a little bit of swinging, to slow it down a little. Taking your breath, follow this. Got you tired, a slow motion. Lifting the foot up from the top of your foot. The bottom is, this is the, now hit at the top, they're going, this is the water path of the kidney, which goes from the bottom of your foot all the way up and ends up where you're hitting your chest. So we're cooling down the heat of the fire with the water, the fryer working with the heart, now with the kidney. Bringing energy out of the earth, hands go just the height of the shoulders and then breathing down, sinking, rising, feeling earth energy come up and then down. To bring in this new earth energy, breathing out as I sink. Try now with through the nose. If you can do both in and out through the nose, if you're 
uh, had too much activity and you have to breathe out through your mouth, that's okay. But if you're slowing it down, you're slowing down your pulse, if it was right, raised. I would take that energy that we're pulling it out of the earth and this right up through the feet to the height of the shoulders. What's behind that? Your hands at the top is your heart. So now this time, as I come up, we're we'll keep going up and over and then down. Pick up some more, bring it up the sides, up and over the top. It's almost creating a circle this time. Up and around, pulling the energy out of the earth, filling up the whole body. If you can't squat all the way down, just go as far as you can. One more time. And then relax in the front. And now I'm going to come out and really open the heart. And bending back to create this exposure. And then breathing out. Contraction, crisscrossing in front, bringing the shoulders in, really contracting it to the extreme. Extreme open, extreme closure. So we want to find my balance. Arrogance and the timidness, heartache, closed down. Find the middle is the compassion. Open, close. Really get all tight, knotted up, and way open. And then tight, closed up. Open. The homage is expansion, puffiness, arrogance. And, um, it's good to be the matzah, but what do we end up with after Passover is normal bread. We're trying to find our normal stance at the end. One more time. Open it up. And then close it. Now, with the 12 rivers working with the heart element itself, so close, uh, finger lock, want to be in horse and rider position, and I breathe in, up and over, and again, open up the heart with the wings, and then breathe out. Breathe in, up and over, make wings and spread your wings open and close, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. If you have to rock, raise your stance, it's okay. If your legs are getting tired, otherwise stay in the low horse position. Last time, 
Come back, rise a little to relax the legs. But then let me just check something. Boom. And then come back down again for the uh, small intestine, which is also heart, right down through the center. Breathe out. And breathe in. Breathe out, one through the center. And breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe out, my stomach comes in. Breathe in. Stomach goes massaging the small intestine. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. One more time, each side. Now, if we get in the, the, the fire position as a static position, we want to take a lunging stance. So the back leg foot goes out to the right a little, and there's space between my legs. I'm not my legs aren't directly one behind the other. I have space. When I bring my foot back, so it won't tip over. The front leg arm hand up in a fist, the back leg arm forward, pointed down. And I'm going to just hold this feeling, breathing in and out through the nose and concentrating and bringing energy up out of the earth comes right up to the heart and out the front fist, like a dragon spewing fire. I feel this activation of heat breathing in as it comes up through the feet, both feet, up to the lower Dantian and then up to the heart. The center Dantian area now is getting activated. And I breathe out, I spew it out through my fist. As I send out the flames. Breathing in. And breathing out. And follow that path. And per se, even having it go through all the arteries as it's blood up through the feet, but using arteries and veins and blood vessels, come up into the heart and then send it out. I'll show you sideways. And it's slipping. And if you can, you can get low. But you don't need to. You can be up high. Get the same thing. Okay, come together. And then we'll do the other side. Back. The other foot goes back. Front foot, fist up. Back foot, fist away. The way hand is pointed down, but in a fist. And the back foot is a 45 degree out. 
for violence. Feel it come up through the earth, up into the heart via the lower dantian. As you breathe out, think of that dragon, flames, leaving, hotness, heat of the fire. If in your mind you can follow that path as you breathe in of the chi moving through the body, the heat of the blood and the heart pumping, sending it out through the hand. This is a, with the five elements, it's, they're much more static, but there's a lot of motion going on inside versus the muscles expanding and contracting. They're now, you're, you're making the motion with your mind of the energy flow. And then we relax. Now to balance off the fire and the water. So then we'll do the same with the fire, with the water element. You want to take your back foot, put it behind you. And then the, the if this was my left foot behind, I want to take my other hands and twist around and my left hand is further away than the right and follow this twisted river come right up through the body and the flow of that water cooling down the fire that was going through it before you don't have to hold it as long come back into center now the new Back foot comes behind, and then, whoops, actually I was twisting the wrong way. Twist. I did that first one wrong. <laughs> Let's do it again. Sorry. So we'll start here. Put right foot behind and then twist in front. Is there a way to point that toward your feet? I don't know where your feet are. All right, I'll do this one. Is that? I'm not sure. Get further back. So I'll tell you, I'm standing straight, right foot behind left, and then I'm going to twist in the same direction as my back foot. I think I was twisting the right way before. Sorry. I have a big twist. Now I come back in center. Left foot behind right and twist in that direction. So I have the water meandering and twisting through rocks and boulders and, and whatnot. And just to cool down. We just just check that one thing. Okay, now more again with getting the cooling down. I bring our hands together as I work with a snake. I'm going to push the hand away and take the hips away from the hand that's away from me. And as the snake comes around front and center again, go the other way. 
So I have this opposite direction of the hand and the hip as the snake slithers around. Do we uh, change the, the foot, the direction of the foot? No, the feet are perfectly straight. Sorry. Feet are together. Feet are together and held straight and forward. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Too much matzah clogs the brains. So hip goes the opposite of the hands and the feet are together, pointed forward. So Dean, you need to put yourself on mute again. Yeah, got it. Okay, now if that wasn't too hard, now every time I move, I want to go lower. So the snake is lowering itself each time comes across a little lower. You only go as far as your body lets you. It's okay. As you get down to the bottom, it slithers along the ground. It comes across. Then it starts coming back up. Really getting nice stretches and twists. Just like water going through a river. And interesting that being the water, now we start going higher. The water element connected to the kidneys, but it also affects the ears. But what's strange is that snakes don't have any ears. But what they do, their whole body vibrates instead of just the ear bones. And that's what we're showing. We come higher. And we're going to integrate the whole body for our snake water, ear, kidneys, as it twists and turns up to the top. And then come down to the center. Relax the feet, the heart. Come back again to the balance of the yin yang of the water coming up the back, coming down the front. Balancing, working both emphasis on the fire, but so as not to scorch ourselves, balancing it with this interaction of the water element as well. We'll come back into center holding our hands together. Now, we've been working so much the internal development of the heart, massaging the heart, opening, closing, massaging it, getting it the right temperature, but we don't want to leave it that way. We also want to push it a little bit out. We want to fill the whole body with that newfound balance of the heart element. So we'll do one portion of the between heaven and earth. 
So as we breathe out, we take that heart energy and push it out to the sides. Look to one side, look to the other. Breathing in, bring it right back to the center again. Breathing out, pushing it out to the extremes of the body. Again, looking both ways, breathing in, breathing out, push out to the, just to the distance of the hand, look to the right, look to the left. Breathing in, breathing out, one way, the other way, breathing in, one more time, breathing out on each side. We feel it contraction into this cocoon. And then as we breathe out, we push it out to the extreme area of our control on our sides. Now we want to do the same with the side. So turn to one side and look behind and look forward. Breathe in, come front and center. And breathe out, look behind again and front. Breathe in, repeat one more time. First, you look behind. Where did my feet go to the ends of where my hands are? Now go to the other side. Breathe out. Control my space. Breathe in. Breathe out as I push. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Take in the ball of energy and we'll work on just one hand going up as I look down and then up. Breathe in the collapse of that energy space. Keep the same hand on top. Breathing out, look down, look up. Breathing in. One more time, look down as I breathe out, look up and breathe in. Feel that hot ball in your hands and switch which one is on top. Looking down as we push down and look up. Breathe in. Same hand on top, but look down first. Look up. Breathe in. Taking this chi that's bundled up in heart, but expanding it to all of the areas. And to finish with the circle that we started with before, this time we don't need to start by hitting ourselves. Our feet are flat. It's like a blender, taking all that chi that was in the space on the sides and the below, below and behind, and we're churning it. Turning it around. And now bringing your foot up and hitting the front and the back. And find different places to hit. Because you might have some areas that got overstimulated or understimulated. And you'll feel it when you hit yourself in different spots. So is that comfortable or? Did that break up a, a, a plot? Different places need final stimulation. And 
balance. And right on the middle top, you can give it a good hit. Different places of the body and the front and the back. And now we want to tap down, come around the back, tap down the back side, up through the inside of the legs, outside of the arm, back side of the arm. And you can give a good, we can, we can touch our face now, give a good pat in the face, in the head, around the ears, and then and do it again, come around the back side, up, out, and again with the face, Touching the top of the head, you can either use your fingers and tap it or your knuckles and really feel this vibration up there around your ears, the temple. Squeeze your ears, all of the sensations there, all of the acupuncture points, and then through the back, come around the back again and massage. We want to massage the, the kidney area. And we were working on the water. Give it a massage. Circles in circle motion. Not just rubbing up and down, but in a circle. And this time, with touching, push down the backside. Come up, pressing, push out on the outside, shining the armor, spreading out the heat. Massage the face, comes up around the top, pushing down the neck. Come around the back. And then come in through the front, holding our hand in the above the lower Dante end. Now the center this is the lower Dante end up, up near the heart, the breastplate is the center Dante end, and the head is the upper. I want to breathe in into the lower Dante end, and as I breathe out, I want to really fill up my center the heart area, the energy is going in to that center on the end. So breathing in, the energy is coming in to the lower down the end. Breathing out, I feel my heart expand, really absorbing all that chi that's been developed special for it today. Breathing in, the fire under my hand, where do I send it? Send it to the heart. I breathe out. I feel it. the chest cavity expand. Not expanding with oxygen, expanding with chi into the heart. Breathing in the lower dantian. Breathing out my heart. I, uh, I, I won't tell you the breathing in and out because I want you to be on your own pattern but so have that method, that direction, breathing into the lower, out to the center, down to the end. 